Dr. Kozani Dimelang Khanyali said, I hope you guys are wonderful. I hope you guys are having a beautiful morning. It is the 22nd of February today, and we are doing an overall daily reading to see what it is that you can expect for the day. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is a general reading, and it can resonate with others, while it doesn't with others. So take what is for you and leave out what is not. So today, three cards popped up for us. And the very first card, which is our tarot card, we have the nine of swords. So coming off the bat, a lot of you people may be experiencing a lot of anxiety today, a lot of pressure, a bit of depression here and there. Some of you guys may feel as though things are not going in the way that you want them to. Things are not aligning the way that you have planned. And it's very understandable given the fact that everything may be feeling a bit too fast for you guys at this point in time like time is moving on too fast and you feel as though you don't have your things in hand the way that you want them to and here we have the swords that are showing the nine swords and also an image of a person which represents you at this particular moment with their head in their hands feeling looking very depressed looking overwhelmed by everything that is going on in their lives so by looking at this card, the overall energy that I am getting here is not really a sense of anxiety or depression, but rather the sense where as you are being filled with fear, right? You have a lot of fear that is consuming you at this moment. And some of you guys may be feeling as though you will not be able to move forward in things the way that you have planned. Some of you guys may be worried in terms of work, whereas you feel as though you are declining in your performance at work. Some of you guys may be dealing with studies, your school. You feel as though things are not going the way that you want them to or rather you're pulled in a direction that you did not plan to go into and others may feel as though you're moving in circles in terms of relationships take what resonates right and this is the energy that is filled to you that is filled up in you for the day so the way that is come across here as much as this card talks about the energy i do feel a sense in a certain type of energy of reassurance from spirit so the nine of swords coming through for us here i also feel spirit actually trying to guide you out of this state of mind right and where as you're being guided out of this state of mind you're being called to actually reassess everything that is going on in your life to assess your emotions the anxiety that you're feeling and also to assess how it is that you can actually overcome this difficult time because it comes as though you are being consumed by this particular energy and if you allow it to consume you too much you stand a chance of suffering from it in the long run right so this is where as you need to try and try to overcome your challenges today and it will not be easy it will not be smooth sailing but it is something that is going to be doable for you at the end of the day and this is where as we have our oracle cards which is the scholar so the scholar is a card that actually determines or rather tells you that it is time to put the work that is necessary for you in order to achieve what it is that you're looking for most of you guys are looking at things known in a negative light but looking at them in a positive light and putting in the work is something that is going to actually bring the outcomes that you're looking for and this is where as the scholar actually also talks about being cheerful looking at things in a brighter lens and also being dependable this is where as instead of being dependable for others it is time for you to be dependable to yourself this is where as you take all the negativity that you're feeling and put it and put your energy into making sure that there's a lot of light there's a lot of happiness right that way you can get the best results out of everything and this is where as the scholar is also we are showing you that if you do put in the work give yourself time to work on everything the way that you need to then you are possibly going to get a lot of promotions you're going to get a scholarship maybe for maybe it's for some of you guys the nine of swords actually indicates worries in terms of finances for your studies so there's a reassurance that you may be looking for a scholarship and this is something that you're going to get the only thing that is needed from you is to do the work that is necessary get the connection that you're looking for and depend on yourself go the extra mile for yourself so you can get the result as opposed to actually moping around and feeling sorry for yourself for too long and the last card that we have for the day is remember who you are. So this is a message from the spirits. This is a message from your spiritual guides. And the message is that you need to remember who you are. So with everything that is going on in your life, the challenges, the depression, the fear, you're forgetting who you are and you're forgetting why it is that you are working towards. And that is something that your spiritual guides and your ancestors want you to remember. Remember where you came from. Remember why you started. Some of you guys came from very humble beginnings and 
right now you're working towards changing the outcomes of your family backgrounds the outcomes of the future that was expected of you but for some reason given the challenges that you're experiencing at this moment you're forgetting why you started all of this so the message today is remember who you are remember your background and be resilient in whatever challenges that are being brought to you because this is spirits telling you that not everything will be easy yes this is a year of good things this is a year of accomplishments of success but this success and accomplishment is not something that will just come overnight you need to put in the work you need to be resilient and you also need to believe in yourself and also why it is that you're working towards and that is something that some of you guys are forgetting so the word of the day is believe in yourself and do the work that is necessary and by doing that, you will get the best results out of everything. This is where as the who you are card also shows a bear in the background. So the bear is a symbolized symbolized um, animal that actually shows resilience. It shows strength. It shows culture. It shows background, right? And this is where as you need to believe in yourself and be resilient because life has not been easy for you. It is not going to be easy overnight. But if you put in the work and put your fears aside, shown in the nine of cups, the nine of swords here, then you'll be able to get the best results out of everything anyways that is the reading for today please take what resonates and leave what doesn't but the message is remember who you are be resilient and believe in yourself you will get the outcome that you're looking for as long as you put in the work you'll get the promotion you'll get the scholarship you'll be able to pursue your dreams in the way that you need to as long as you do the work and remember who you are and why you started everything anyways thank you guys so much for joining me i hope this reading does help some of you guys that are watching here you guys have a beautiful one to bye bye